Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, tomorrow at 6 o'clock, there's a basketball contest between the New York <laughs> Knicks and the 76ers. <laughs> New York Knicks yeah. leader Jalen Brunson had this to say oh, in the Players' Tribune pregnant. letter to the fans. He said, to the fans, without you, the Knicks aren't the Knicks. The unconditional love and support has been phenomenal. <laughs> it's an honor to play for New York mm. and to play in front of this organization, the city, and the fan base. When they take the floor tomorrow at 6 p.m., is Jalen Brunson the best player on the floor? Yeah, 100%. Period. Stop. Next question. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, first of all, let me just say, look, that's classy. Uh, it's great that he wrote that. Uh, he also has not been a Nick long enough. Uh, to understand what it's like when things aren't going really right, well seriously. and how we pick on our, our our superstars because we blame you for not Everything. getting the job done. He's been the perfect superstar, though, since Nick's acquired him. And he's it's the kind of game that we have always you know, uh, attracted ourselves to as New Yorkers. You know, the grit, that type of stuff, the, the work ethic, showing up every night, playing 40-plus minutes every single night, not taking nights off, all that kind of stuff. And he's not the greatest athlete. He's not the greatest shooter. He's not the greatest really in anything. And yet he's a legitimate superstar. The reason I say he's the best player on the court is because I know what I'm going to get from uh, tomorrow night. Sure. I know I'm getting 40-plus minutes. I know I'm getting about eight assists. I know I'm getting 30 points or so. And I know he's not going to make a mistake late in the fourth quarter. With Joe Ellen Bede, who's the obvious guy that – you know, we're going to compare him to, which is impossible to do because I got a guard who's six foot tall. He's a seven foot center and the reigning MVP from last year. But I'm taking Brunson. A, I'm a Nick fan, so I'm totally colored in my opinion. I'm not going to deny that. But the one thing about him being, I think you saw in the win against Miami, is that he was fatigued late. And at any point, and I think Sixers fans feel this way, every time he jumps up, you're worried about how he lands. Correct. Every play. Because uh, I watched the game as you guys did, and it's like we're all just waiting. When's it going to happen? When's he going to tweak the knee? Yeah. When's he going to fall on his back and have to be taken out of the game? So because you can't guarantee me that he's playing 35 minutes, what do you play, 30 or so? 30, in, 30 yeah, yeah, so right. In, so he missed the whole quarter of basketball uh, in a playing game against the Miami Heat. When's it going to happen? Because it's going to happen. And when he's out on the court, is he dominant? You know, the, you saw a dominant fourth quarter. I get some time. He were scored 11 points. Five minutes of the fourth yeah, quarter. Had yeah, had three or four rebounds, a couple assists, and was clearly the best player on the court, not named uh, Scrotum. Uh, you know, may had the 20 points for them. Uh, Scrotum, whatever his name is. <laughs> Scrotum. <laughs> That. Is it Scratum? <laughs> he said Scratum. I mean, like, he looked just like we knew who he was talking about. Exactly. I was just like, I was like I'm not you with you, be more off, but so right. Page. He's like, you know, Scrotum. Imagine him waking up and be like, did he mean me? And I'm just, I'm just nodding along with Can you. Can you imagine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if Nick Scratum is watching, it's like, what's that? Did he mean me? Am yes. I the Scrotum he's yes. talking about? Yes. I didn't. That wasn't even on purpose. <laughs> I'm sorry. I maybe he's French Scratum. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. Scratum. <laughs> you're going to win a million different ways. That's like. I just love you said like, boon, you, know, boon. you know that guy Scrotum? <laughs> I'm sitting there like, yeah. The guy that was like a Scrotum. I, I hit 20. <laughs> he hit 6'3. <six> <laughs> right. I apologize, Scrotum. Scrotum. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> look, I, I'm going to make I'm gonna make a point, and because. Uh, he had I'm, two balls back to back. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes, he yeah. did. <laughs> because. <laughs> see, he's the bad guy, <laughs> not me. Um, it's one thing you say, you know, organically. <laughs> um, I'm learning how to do TV, they tell me, every day. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> every day it gets better and better and better. So watch this little TV trick. Give me a full screen. Full screen! So, whoa! Just, this is why, you, to answer your question, more the best than player Jokic in the series. And more <laughs> points than Jokic and Scrotum. <laughs> He's got more assists than Alexander and Lillard. He's got more threes this year than Harden. He's got more 40 point games than Embiid, I know, missed a couple months. Yep. And Spider Mitchell. He's got a better three point percentage than Luka. You know, and on and on and on. And I point that out to you because. When you ask the question, if you haven't watched the Knicks a lot this year, for whatever the reason might be, you don't think of Jalen Brunson in those terms. He wasn't picked to be on Team USA in the Paris Olympics, at least as of right now. I know they're holding out that one spot. And there's a dozen guys, to yeah, be fair, somebody, and, that you could yeah, pick off. Right? Yeah, be hurt. Yeah, right. Yeah, so, yeah. so maybe he does make the team. But the point is he's not the obvious choice 
for anything. And yet for those of us, the three of us, who watch virtually every play of every Knicks game, we know how special he is. Uh, and that's why the New York Knicks are not favored to win the series. That's why they're only two-and-a-half-point favorites in game one at home where they're a very good basketball team. And the Sixers are banged up because people hear Jalen Brunson and they, they feel some kind of way about him because they haven't seen him play. Right. I, I, listen, for me, when it comes to Jalen Brunson, man, I, I'm really happy that one thing that happened to him from his experience is that his dad introduced him to Derek Jeter, right? Because Derek Jeter, to us, is kind of Captain New York, if you will. On top of that, on the, on, on the court from this situation, like, the kid, to your point, is going to give you all he got. Like, he's not going to leave anything in behind. If you read that article like we all did, one thing he talked about that runs a loop in his head is last year's playoffs against Atlanta, how he yeah. had that one turnover. How he said, out of everything he's been able to accomplish, that one thing kind of stays steady ahead. So he's going to be ready to go and focus. But there's one guy we got to call out, and that's Hartstein, man. Are you ready? Because yeah. I watched him be, like you said, and he can't move laterally. That's, that's what he struggled with. He, he yeah. struggled going up and down the court. When he got hot is when Batum got hot because now the pressure was off him, yeah. so he was able to get and going. And hard to see it again. Embiid only played one game against the Knicks out of the four they played. And the Knicks were missing half their squad, too, yeah. so to be fair about it. But the Sixers have a real problem offensively against the Knicks because the style of defense Thibodeau puts on the court. And the Knicks, more so than most teams in basketball, are really predicated – on everybody's got a specific role. You know, a lot of teams are predicated on my star is going to outplay everybody else, and when I need a big bucket, I'm just going to give the ball to my rock star, and he's going to make the play. Any one of four or five guys can make the play for the New York Knicks, and they're very disciplined about what their roles are. And you're going to see Hartenstein, yeah. who I believe will start this game, and he will pick up Joel Embiid from 15, 17 feet from the goal. And as soon as Embiid gets the rock, Harden scenes in his grill, and you will see a very frustrated Joel Embiid early. Then we'll see what Nick Nurse does to counter. I want to say a couple things about Brunson. Number one, like unlike other superstars, it's the consistency. Right. If you think about the last time the Sixers took the floor, Joel Embiid he had that nice little fourth quarter. Yep. He didn't play well. To Maxi yep. didn't, play didn't play well. well at all. You think about stars like Steph Curry. The last time you saw him on the floor, didn't play, didn't well. play well. I can't think of the last time where I looked at Brunson. I said. Bad shooting night from yeah. the floor. You yeah. know, he kind of – a bunch of turnovers. He's, he's just so consistent and so good. And one thing I'm going to say about – to look for in this is Nick Nurse is a great coach, and he knows who Jalen Brunson is, and he's going to double Brunson and get the ball out of his hands. And you know what? That's gonna, it's going to equal uh, four and fives behind him. Yeah. You're going to have creators like DiVincenzo, guys like Josh Hart. The pressure's going to be on them because he's seen what Brunson can do, and they're going to take the ball out of his hands. And one thing Brunson's really good at is reading that, seeing that, getting in front of it, yep. and distributing the ball and letting yep. other players make plays. And the Knicks have shooters. Too. We'll get more into this game, obviously, throughout the day. Let's talk about this game some more. We're all excited uh, about it. <laughs> it's very rare. Back to this? It is rare. We have a major New York sports moment coming up uh, over the last couple of years, and we got one on Saturday night, 6 o'clock at Madison Square Garden. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out, too.